Hello everyone and welcome to today's video which I have yet to decide. Is this a weekly wear? Is this a let's test? I feel like it's more in the vein of a let's test video. I know it's been a minute but I've got some lipsticks here and I'm very curious to try them out with you all and I don't know that it's gonna need more than one day of testing so hence I don't know what the actual video is gonna be called. However, I don't really know why if I'm being honest with you. I I'm so drawn to these lipsticks and why I want to test them out so bad. It's not like they've been advertised a profuse amount to me, like I know of them, but for some reason they're calling to me. I want to know if these are any good. These are new lipsticks from Revlon. These are the Colorstay Suede Ink Lipsticks. It looks like they are $12.39 at least on Ulta's website. And if I counted correctly, there are 16 different shades available. It looks like they kind of stayed in the reds and the pinks for these lipsticks. There are some purples as well and some brownie nudes mixed in there, mixed in with the pinks and the, like it's a pinky brown or it's a pinky purple or that sort of, you get what I'm saying? But there you go, there are the colors. And they just say that these are gonna give eight hour wear. It's gonna have a no transfer formula that delivers vivid matte color and a naked lip feel. Which again, why I'm drawn to that, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of matte lipsticks and naked lip feelings. This drives me nuts having nothing on my lips. I want to feel like I have on a lip balm, but for some reason I really want to test these out. <laughs> So I'm going to. I think it's the no transfer formula that they say it is. I'm just, I'm very curious since usually no transfer formulas are liquid lipsticks. This is a stick lipstick. So I don't know. I'm curious though. It's going to give opaque matte color in one coat. It's got a built in primer that extends the wear and prevents the transfer. No smudging, but it's also got ingredients in it that are going to nourish the lips and it is formulated without parabens, mineral oil, or sulfate. And to use, I mean, really, it looks like you put it on like a lipstick. They say you can also use a lip liner if you want. But I'm just, I'm so curious to try these out. Like I said, I got two colors. I got Want It All and Breadwinner. So I got kind of a mauvey pink and then a red. I didn't need to get two different colors, but I just couldn't decide which one I wanted to test out. Although I feel like for this kind of a video, like if we're going to test it out, we may as well go with the red, right? Nothing proves transfer proofness quite like a red lipstick if you can get the stickers off. So it just comes in a little plastic rectangular packaging. You know, it feels like anything else you would get at the drugstore. And it just comes in your typical bullet type uh, construction here. Here's Breadwinner. Like I said, it just looks like a nice kind of classic red color and a nice vanilla smell. Mmm, I like it. It's subtle, but does the trick. And I really, I don't know that there's much else I can tell you guys. I'm just gonna be putting this on. I have nothing on my lips at the moment, like I said. So let's fix that, shall we? Here we go. At least I think I'm doing red, aren't I? I'm really, <laughs> I'm more drawn to the pinky mauve today, but... Oh, I think I just broke it off when I opened this up. You guys would be able to see this color, wouldn't you? Want it all? Let's see. Let's do some hand swatches for want it all. Nice and creamy. See, it's a nice, a nice pink shade. A mauvey pink. And then breadwinner. Like I said, it's gonna be a classic red. Yeah, those are two nice shades. So let's see. I'm gonna start off with the pink. And then, you know, maybe throughout the day if it does fade. But it's not supposed to, but if it does, then I can change it up. So let's go ahead and put this on. See, I mean, it's definitely dark enough. You guys are going to be able to tell if this fades and transfers. <laughs> And there we go. It was certainly easy to apply. It does glide on nice and, I don't wanna say creamy, but it does glide on. Once it's on, you like really can't rub your lips together. So the spreading of the color doesn't happen too much. So you just have to make sure you're applying it everywhere. But, you know, you like cannot rub your lips together. I feel like it might look a little dry on the lips, 
It certainly doesn't feel hydrating or nourishing or anything, uh, but it does have that light, not even there feel on the lips. So here is the color. It's looking a bit darker on my face, I feel like, than it is, you know, on a hand swatch or anything. But overall, I think it's a, I think it's a nice color. We're gonna be able to test it out today. And I'm certainly curious to see how it does. So I think that's about all I can tell you for now. I'm gonna get on with my life. I'll see you in just a second. All right, so it has probably been like six hours since I've put this lipstick on and it is looking full power still. It feels dry. My lips definitely feel dry, but let's see, I wiped off the swatches from earlier. Okay, no, just like a tiny little line from the kiss mark. So I am super hopeful that this, it feels like it's gonna start pilling off any minute now, but I'm super hopeful that this will last through my Subway sandwich. I'm only hopeful because I forgot to bring the lipstick with me to my mom's place here. I was very irresponsible. <laughs> I've had a lot on my mind lately, but um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have dinner and I will show you the lipstick afterwards. So wish us luck. I'm coming for you, veggie Sammy. I'm coming. All right, so dinner has been eaten. I think. Mm-hmm. It did the thing where it transferred. Does that, does that happen to and that has to happen to people other than just me? Where it, it trans to me. Okay. That just that drives me nuts how it does that. But lipstick, you can certainly see that it's starting to come off, you know, in the inner lip area. And like I said, it is quite dry feeling. I don't want to say it's uncomfortable, but it's not comfortable either. You know, if I could, I would put a lip balm on top of this for sure. But I'm just glad that it's still looking this full power. I mean, you can see the little tiny bit that, like I said, was coming off while I was eating. I'm assuming that was just from mayo and maybe the acidity of the pickles or something. But either way, it's still on. I'm still gonna wear it for at least another couple hours here, so I am gonna keep doing that, and then when I get home too, I can try applying over it to see if that is really chunky or just, you know, any of that. So I'm gonna get back to getting, and I will see you all when I get home. All right, I am back home. Hi. I'm stressing out. I've got a I've got a big exciting day tomorrow, but that doesn't mean I can neglect this lipstick review. I am certainly curious to look at my lips. It's been an additional like three hours ish, two and a half, three hours since I have eaten dinner, and I think it is clear that the lipstick really doesn't look any different than when I checked in with you three hours ago. I think the fading that has happened it kind of has that blotted look to the lips, which I don't hate. Certainly Certainly dry looking and a little worn, but not terrible. So I'm gonna try and reapply this real quick. See how this does. Honestly, I'm shocked that it looks like it actually applies really nicely over itself. I thought it was gonna be really tuggy and dry and crumbly and nasty, but I think it kind of looks just freshly applied now. So that's really exciting, you guys. I mean, listen, this is not my favorite formula. I knew that going in. Like I said, why was I so excited about this lipstick? It's dry, it's matte. But if you like this look and you're looking for a budge proof thing, because I know a lot of like these budge proof lipsticks, like I said earlier, they are typically liquid or they're like this kind of a thing, but you put the gloss on top to seal it in. This one, if you don't like that gloss or whatever, this would be a perfect alternative for you. Like, I don't think it would be uncomfortable to someone who is not addicted to lip balm and whatnot, like I am. I could also see myself using this for, like, if I ever have a special occasion or something and I don't wanna have to worry about my lipstick. This is great. Dan, I need some uh, participation. Yes? I need a face to smooch. Mm. And look! What? No lipstick. No lipstick. You, you show them. None. None at all. Let me smooch mm -hmm. you. You're not lips. Beautiful. Extra beautiful. We love to see it, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? 
Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty nifty. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm giving this a good review overall. Like I said, not my particular favorite feeling on the lips. However, the performance, reapplication and everything, I can't really complain in the long run. So I would say go ahead and give these a try if you like matte or if you like that not there feeling on the lips. If you like that, you're gonna love these. These are gonna be great for you. I think if you're like me and you prefer <laughs> a gloss, like I said, I had every knowledge or every ability to know that <laughs> I would like other bunch proof lipsticks better, but I was just so intrigued by these. I really don't know why, but now I can at least tell you that these, I give these a grade A good job. So I hope this review was helpful for you guys in seeing whether or not these Revlon lipsticks are going to be something you're going to want to check out. You can certainly let me know down below what your favorite budge proof lipsticks and whatnot are. I'm super curious about those Maybelline vinyl, I don't know, I keep seeing them on advertisements like uh, when my mom and I are watching Married at First Sight and whatnot. We get advertised a lot so I, I'm kind of curious to try those out next but otherwise just let me know things down in the comments below you can also let me know if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful by giving it a thumbs up down below I would really appreciate it and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you you can go ahead and subscribe tippity tap that notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel I'd love to have you here and as always I just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then bye they're also cat approved Mm, look at that. Kisses on the white tummy, and you would be none the wiser. <laughs> Yay! Yaffing? Yay! <laughs> they had no baggy pants and no sneakers. That was wild. I, could, I didn't know what to think about that. Didn't know what to think about that.